Representing that don't flop Scotland, you see, for soul makes the noise. Let's go. Yeah. We're just straight into this one. On the right makes the noise, Bro Jester. Yeah. Yeah. Battled in the very first don't flop North event ever in 2008. Chris Leaves makes the noise. Yeah. Big up my boys, Tenchu and Lego took home the prize. Who knows he's gonna take it home this year? All right, on the left, he battled in the very first Don't Flop North event ever in 2008. Yeah. Chris Lees makes it look. Yeah. And to the right, representing Leeds, it's Matt. Yeah. Originality since the start, Matt has been making a big impact this year alone. Let's go. It's uh, 60 seconds on Chris Lee's judges. You need to be really fucking concentrated on this. I don't want to hear no shit about he won because he's funnier. I want a real fucking opinion, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So my man Chris Lee, 60 seconds, let's go. The fact of the matter is matter rate a rapper that matters. Matter bubbles and battles gets battered and bring matter gets splattered. Cause matter is made up of atoms and atoms don't happen to matter, so matter gets battered again. Today oh, is the end of the matter. <laughs> this don't flop record's 5 nil. But don't think the guy's ill. He's got an oversized grill, nearly every line's fail, and in my eyes, beating shark rhymes don't define skill. Yeah. You smoke crack pipes, live on a campsite, and brush your teeth with a jackknife. <laughs> That's why, when he opened his trap line, his teeth are throwing up gang signs. <laughs> Bad times. You need to brace yourself. No, literally, brace yourself. <laughs> Empty teeth are disgusting. Green and discoloured, and even though she's a disease ridden hooker, Chris Lee's he still fucked us, and now we both feel the repercussions of taking jeans off your mother. <laughs> your relatives. This <laughs> Lee's dad is a fiend that forever goes to rehab to forget his wife who's so inbred she's got seven toes on each hand. This <laughs> is <laughs> from Macclesfield where they throw stones at planes as they whiz past screaming how does that metal bird stay in the sky it must be witchcraft. <laughs> Macclesfield where having 
having a red means having the biggest STD collection. You're inbred and diseased. Shit, I think I'll call you yeast infection. Macclesfield, where it's considered disgusting to put your dick in a woman that isn't your cousin. <laughs> Needle while hitting the liquor and clubbing, you ain't pissed off your buzzing. You spend the rest of the night skipping and humming. <laughs> I bet you were pissed as shit having to fork out 50 quid to get ripped to bits, because in the pit he lives, 50 quid could have got in gonorrhea and syphilis. <laughs> and I don't need to waste time on separate girl jokes, sister jokes, and mum jokes, because thanks to Macclesfield's mating habits, that's all just one joke. <laughs> Let's go. It's pretty safe to say that matters not too hot when it's right. And this becomes apparent if you watch him online. He didn't want to ruin his vid with them boggly eyes. So film kids in the changing rooms. What a surprise. <laughs> isn't it true that your video's viewed by kidney fiddlers and dudes who leave children abused? He gives them some chews, lures them into his room. So watch out, Blizzard and Seuss, because next time it could be you. <laughs> Snap rubber, <laughs> land fucker, <laughs> tracks a lover. <laughs> Your dad looks like Pat Butcher. <laughs> Your mum looks like Jack Duckworth. <laughs> you got clothes shopping at Hans Summers. <laughs> Speaking of Hans, man. I love Alice Stewart gushing fanny fluids, bumping matters music, fucking shagging to it like I can do a put your back into it. <laughs> I can do a put your ass into it. Take, take, fuck off. Matters a bitch. Man, a man, a mad at matter, cause matters rapping his shit when it comes to battling Chris. Take a detour, eat all. He even admitted Nash made him dribble on his keyboard. I don't know what you're battling me for. Free porn. <laughs> Check us the fuck out, you know what's good, it's on matter, let's go. Alright, so hey. imagine Chris trying to chat up a bird. Like, alright, love, can I spray your baps with me sperm? That's <laughs> spectacular girth, I'll spast your gas till it hurts. And what's sad and absurd is that a Macclesfield bird, this would actually work. Oh. I can get him pissed off, trust me, it ain't long, because all it takes is two sharp lines to make Chris cross. I can talk about him ducking sprungy just to get him rattled, and he'll switch into a hissy fit like, oh, I didn't accept that battle. <laughs> or I can mention how Sneak hosted your mixtape without even rapping a verse, but standard you gave him cash for it first. Fanboy uh, uh, alert! Uh. Or I could just say your clique consists strictly of whack rap nerds. Wait for it, your crew's got more faggots than a Frank Stax verse. <laughs> <laughs> so against nice. Lego and Tenchu, you played the silly clown, the dizzy freak. You ran rings around them physically, while they ran rings around you lyrically. And because you were running all over the shop, the camera found it hard to see, but I was there and I can confirm he gave Tenchu's ass a squeeze. Let's <laughs> Yo, it's on Chris Lee's, we've got 90 seconds on Chris Lee's. Judges, I hope you're concentrating. <sighs> After a quick tea of fig leaves in Leeds, <laughs> this geek starts to scan the wilderness for quick breed farms with Christine Barnes, in which he proceeds to dick sheep's arse, trying to find out what the kids mean when they say 16 bars. <laughs> Off a sheep herd, or the rebirth of E.T. Spur. Find him slithering in the leaves and dirt when a tractor beams were. Eyes white in his t-shirt, like take me to real leader. <laughs> anyway, Anna Stewart is an anagram for wanna taste. <laughs> sagging anagrams, Anna Ada, on my anaconda, anaconda, Anna Gamma Nag is sagging on my face. Ugly. A chubby, dirty, scruffy, slob with bushy muff and chubby tummy. Still, I got a sucky, sucky till I bussy pussy on a fucking puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, you piece of shit. Your face is offending me. And I don't mean the specs, you freak. You'll never be aesthetically pleased having copied cosmetic procedures and dentistry from a recipe of Professor Green, LNC, and Tenchu's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and this faggot don't sex nice. Nice. He straddles his friend's nuts whilst wanking to West Ward and dancing to Jedward. <laughs> Plus he's got a tat on his neck called Stappy from Endor, Taz and he's dead cool. <laughs> he likes the number one all over, and I don't mean a haircut. <laughs> so ain't no question who's the motherfucking hottest rapper here. 
I'll piss in your face. Piss on a matter peer. <laughs> It's on my man matter, let's go. Yo, your battles from years ago got less views than mine now. Now that's a fair message. You're just a recently unearthed relic from before Don't Flop was worth checking. How could I make it clearer? You're just a throwback to what I like to call Don't Flop's Joe Davies era. Well, to be fair, you were the first to use that shabby gimmick of disguising your lack of talent spitting by acting different. Well, sorry Chris, but since you've been gone that position, pamphlets filled it. <laughs> you shout real loud to compensate for the fact your rhymes are shit. You're like one of them yuppies who buys a Ferrari to compensate for his tiny dick. <laughs> so the other day I noticed that my inbox was packed out with people from Macclesfield wanting to snitch on this fat clown. Falling over each other to give me shit on his background. I was like, yeah, cool, give me the info, that sound. Turns out if we go back some years, this brother Chris used to rap American. He was into atmosphere, he'd never heard of Chester Jest and them. And in Macclesfield he's disrespected enough, treated like a pathetic chump. Hangs around at the metal pole because the estate boys and F him up. You never realised you were hated that much by your peers because they also told me you went out with a fat monster for four years. Oh. Fuck you Chris, you deserve this loss. I should have no problem murking off this spacked out, cracked out version of the Churchill dog. <laughs> Right combo to leave this fucker spinning so they won't be talking about rush hour when they say Chris took a kick in. <laughs> you think running rampant like a spastic going angry and erratic will distract us from the fact that you're massively swagger rapping? Nah. And now <laughs> someone who's actually fantastic looks dashing in black glasses will embarrass this fat faggot and hand him some rap classes. Time. That's yeah. nice. Woo! Mad Chronicle Times Chase Tournament round number one. People, did you enjoy that battle, man? Yeah. We've got a lively fucking crowd in the building, it makes it that little bit better when the crowd's fucking vibing with us, man. Big up my man Chris Lee's, big up my man Matt, but advancing 5-0, it went to Chris Lee's. Yeah. 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 It's L's just watch Matter versus Chris Lee's, very good battle, one of the best team battles of the day so far. Um, and I give it 2 to 1. So Chris Lee's first round, Martin second round, Chris Lee's third round, Chris Lee's third round. Right, um, yeah, it's Blizzard. I just watched Martin versus Chris Lee's. Really good battle. I think Martin was very lyrical, and so was Chris Lee's for Martin. And Chris Lee's was just a bit more energetic when he was delivering his stuff, so his bar hit a bit harder to get Chris Lee's. Yeah, just saw Matt versus Chris Lee's. Uh, Chris Lee's took that one. I think I think they're both very funny people, but uh, Chris Lee's just was a bit more animated. I think he just uh, I think he sort of won the crowd a little bit more. And they're both very funny. Though. I think it was quite close, but but yeah, definitely I think Chris Lee's took it. Matt versus Chris Lee's. I went with Chris Lee's. They were both funny guys. They were both absolutely hilarious. But Chris Lee's just had it on point every single time. It was funny, so Chris Lee's. Matt versus Chris Lee's. That the game was quite hard to call. They both had some good lines. I think they were good use of wordplay. Um, but I'm going to give that one to Chris Lee's. There was a few more of his bars which kind of stuck in my mind. Um, but still very good value for his lines. Battle Matter, big up to himself to be honest, and one person I didn't want to battle first would be Matter, so I'm very fucking happy with that. Um, looking forward to battling as a Rochester, that's, well not really looking forward to it, just hate battling, but looking forward to it. Um, yeah, big up Matter, man, why are you back in a minute? Why are you back in a minute? <laughs> Obviously I'm a little bit gutted, but I couldn't have lost to a fucking sick of rapper, so big up Chris Lee's, you know what I mean? He was right up in my face, he delivered all this life with a lot of aggression and a lot of passion. So, I, you know, I agree with the result, man. He smashed it, so yeah, big up him. I hope he wins it. You better win it now. <laughs> <laughs>